Today, we will look at the enhanced value the 3D Experience platform can provide to the SOLIDWORKS designer within the enterprise. Many product development teams use product data management or PDM systems to track, manage, and control access to design data and related documentation. PDM offers numerous benefits over basic file sharing practices. However, more and more organizations realize that PDM is necessary but not sufficient to address their development and business needs. They need Product Lifecycle Management, or PLM, to enable enterprise-wide engineering and business processes to improve efficiency and time to market. To meet the needs of the enterprise, a PLM system offers additional capabilities. It manages all product-related data and information, including CAD data, through a single enterprise view. Securing all product data in one location provides a single source of truth for the enterprise. A PLM system offers enterprise-wide data and process management, generates comprehensive reports and analysis, and provides tracking mechanisms to ensure compliance with regulations and standards. For most companies adopting a PLM system, design teams must change how they manage CAD data and other information to adapt to new business processes. However, with Anovia powered by the 3D Experience platform, Designers are able to preserve their existing work paradigms and control of design IP within their existing system while enjoying the productivity gains and benefits of PLM. Enovia powered by the 3D Experience platform unlocks enterprise-wide data and connects stakeholders for collaborative innovation. The platform enables a wide range of business processes and specialized applications for the enterprise, including data management capabilities tailor-made for SOLIDWORKS users. With the SOLIDWORKS connector, managing data is very similar to our SOLIDWORKS PDM professional solution. A streamlined set of data management functions is available from within the SOLIDWORKS interface, allowing the designer to remain in the SOLIDWORKS environment and get to required management activities quickly and with minimum effort. SOLIDWORKS models and drawings are integrated directly into the desktop file system. Users can simply save their files to their desktop, much like they would in a non-managed environment. Anovia keeps track of which files are changed or out of date with a central server. Furthermore, the SOLIDWORKS connector enhances the standard Windows Explorer with the ability to intelligently manage and search SOLIDWORKS data and share across the enterprise. Leveraging the power of the 3D Experience platform means your SOLIDWORKS data can become useful beyond the confines of the PDM or file-based environment. From a single platform, everyone in the organization is able to share and view SOLIDWORKS models. Functions, teams, and locations are connected to drive collaborative innovation. Search capabilities enable you to uncover new information and data for improved designs. With personalized dashboards, you can collect, view, and access your assigned tasks, issues, priorities, and related CAD data. You can create business dashboards to gain greater insight and analysis on industry, company, programs, or projects to make more informed and better decisions. And real-time assessment of project status is possible with deliverables-based project management and invisible governance, whereby an update to a CAD part or related document is automatically reflected in the project dashboard. Let's take a look at the 3D Experience platform with the SOLIDWORKS connector in action. In the following example, let's take a look at the use case within SOLIDWORKS that begins at the enterprise level, relating to both project or issue management. From the web client within one of the selectable dashboards, the designer can browse their documents based on a multitude of parameters. In this first case, the designer is interested in documents that may need to be edited based on the relationship to a specific project. Here, the designer selects directly on the graphic query for all documents that they are a resource for within the selected project. The subsequent document is listed. Designer may now select the document and open SOLIDWORKS into session with the selected design. As an alternative list, look at another dashboard for what would give the designer access to documents in the context of the issues that need to be addressed within the enterprise. Much like documents, the issues dashboard organizes data in a graphical way for quick sorting and selecting by the designer. 
we can see that issues are organized graphically based on a number of parameters, such as priority, state, problem, type, etc. Graphically selecting the most important issues takes a designer to a query with the specific issues or issue where the details may be reviewed. Included in the details of this issue is revision of a particular design that the issues reported against, which designer may now select as before and open up into SOLIDWORKS. This particular issue requires that the designer changes the length of the jaws of this tool to improve its usability. To do this, they must check out the appropriate components within the assembly and make a new revision of the design. Within the document management tree, we can see the structure and status as known by the system in real time. From here, the designer can check out the required components of the assembly for change. Upon executing a checkout, the system scans the status of the existing assembly to allow the user to select the components that need to be modified. This checkout operation will lock out components preventing other users from making changes to them during modification. The user can now select the ARM and open it locally into the session directly from integration to make the necessary changes. In this scenario, that will make a quick change to the base sketch that drives the length of this component. Note that the integration to the system allows the user to quickly move between the management and editing of the design during the session. With the change of design complete, the designer closes and saves the ARM component. Rebuilding the assembly captures this update at the assembly level. Now the designer can check in the complete assembly to capture the changes in a new iteration of the design. The designer now chooses to check in this new iteration of the design into the PLM system. A confirmation screen is displayed, showing what will be involved in the transaction. Note that only the two components to be checked in with the check-in of the assembly, as no other changes were made in the structure. The designer chooses to add a comment regarding the specific changes they made during the session for future reference. Once complete, the transaction is executed and the changed components are uploaded to the central server in the PLM system. Once the upload of the data completes, the components that were checked out are unlocked for access by other users globally. The document management tree to the right has been updated to reflect the new status of the assembly. The designer then realizes that the related assembly drawing will not be valid and must be updated as well. The assembly drawing is then opened into session. Once opened, the document management tree updates to reflect the current status as well as relationship to the assembly previously opened. Note that the drawing has not been checked out remains in a read-only state as noted at the top of the screen. This is reflected in the status shown in the document management tree as well as in the preview in the lower right corner. The designer then rebuilds the assembly to update the drawing. Once completed, the designer realizes that they have forgotten to check out the design to capture these changes. The integration to the PLM system allows the user to capture these changes by retaining them during a subsequent checkout operation, avoiding loss of work. The confirmation screen for the checkout transaction notes the relationship between the drawing and the assembly, along with the fact that only the drawing will be checked out from the server, as all of the components and session were not edited. The drawing is now open in the session and is editable. The designer now chooses to rebuild the drawing again to confirm the update from the assembly. Any other changes could also now be made. Once satisfied, the designer can now check in the completed drawing to the PLM system. The confirmation screen indicates that only the drawing will be checked in, as no other components in the related structure were checked out for edit. Subsequently, the check-in transaction is executed to create a new iteration of the drawing. With the design and drawing now complete and available for others to access, 
the designer now decides to promote the data to the next state for review. One of the fundamental functions of the lifecycle states is control of who can access specific data and how they can manipulate it. Since the design is promoting from the drawing, the system attempts to promote the related assembly and subcomponents as well. Once promote operation completes, the design data is moved to the state, design frozen, which shall make it available for review by a broader group of enterprise users. The designer now wishes to execute some PLM-specific functionality. To do this, the web client for the 3D Experience platform must be accessed. This can be done at any time directly from the SOLIDWORKS environment. The web client now exposes information about the specific assembly and components within the PLM system. We can see that property information, as well as imagery, has been captured during the check-in process from SOLIDWORKS, and note that the structured assembly is also known by the PLM system. Returning to a summary view of the assembly, the designer selects the related instances. Instances represent the configurations that are stored within the SOLIDWORKS file. Here, we see that there are two configurations and that the second one highlighted was active when the assembly was checked in. The designer now chooses to open the active configuration. Note that the configurations within SOLIDWORKS are where the structure-specific assemblies are stored. File simply manages the configurations. Note that the drawing associated with this configuration is attached for reference. For this example, a bill of materials was created automatically during the promotion of the lifecycle state of the design. Since the configuration contains the intelligence of the structure, we can see here under the related parts to the relationship between the CAD specification and each engineered part. Once we enter the engineering part, we can proceed into the related bill of materials and see the structure that was created to mimic the structure created by the designer, resulting in an engineering-specific bill of materials. From here, the bomb can be further developed for manufacturing. In closing, we can return to the engineering part as one might do outside of the design department and quickly look through the related CAD specifications to see the design that supports it, giving us a bi-directional visibility for all stakeholders involved in the design. Thank you for participating in this review of the SOLIDWORKS connector on the 3D Experience business platform.